his words of support, uh, you know, the way he uh, worked with us and, you know, connected us to his network and everything uh, is one of the main reasons the program is where it is today. Uh, we're proud to say through this initiative, through, through DS4A Empowerment, as well as through our other, other DS4A programs, we have trained over 2,000 people for free uh, in the last 12 months, and uh, we're just getting started. Without further ado, one of my uh, you know, mentors or supporters, uh, I'll turn it over to Eric. Hey, everybody. Um, it's nice to be back. It's nice to be back with you. Um, I, I look forward to a day that we're able to uh, to do this in person. It'll be so exciting to be able to see you all and spend time with you all. But uh, but even virtually, the, this has been an amazing program. Rashid and Sham have been uh, an inspiration to me. They've created an environment here where everyone can succeed. I've listened to these projects and I just get so full with pride to hear all the great advancements that you're suggesting, things that you're wanting to do. Um, and, and, and to be honest, I just, I, I don't even know what to say in congratulating all of you. Um, I have to give a special shout out to Team 73 representing UMG. Thank you for that. Um, but I'll tell you, it's just, it's funny because when I spoke with Rashid and Sham the first time, um, I was just inspired by their vision. Since then, as they said, I've introduced them to different people, many of whom now have either sponsored projects or have hired people or are, are, are partners themselves. Um, I was really, really pleased to have UMG become part of this program because I think, you know, you're only as good as, uh, as your willingness to sign on the dotted line yourself. And so Mitchell, thank you for being a judge and Thank you for all the work that you've done with the team so far. I think you see the same thing I see, which is why I got so excited to be a part of this group. And um, and now I just want to take a few minutes to talk to each of you. I think this is my third time um, closing out your program, and it's become something that I look forward to um, because this is the embodiment of what I do. When you consider that I'm responsible for people and inclusion and culture at Universal Music Group, I see people like yourselves begin to flourish and begin to grow. I see people like yourselves take on a challenge that, uh, that you're not really sure if you're gonna be successful or not. I see some of you changing careers and deciding that I wanna get into the world of data science and I wanna get into the world of analytics. And I'm not even sure if I'm good at it or if I'm gonna be successful at it, but I'm gonna go for it anyway. And, and, and then you come out on the other side. And when you come out on the other side, you feel this sense of accomplishment, you feel this sense of empowerment, you feel this sense of pride that what you just did was accomplish something and you accomplished something that you had set out to do and you made it to the other end. So few people make it to the other side to see that my efforts were worth it, to confirm that my efforts were going to pay off. And so to have you all now be at what is a graduation, a culmination, a conclusion of so many weeks of effort and commitment and time and camaraderie. I applaud you all, I thank you all, I give you all my due, and I know the judges and everyone else involved in this, uh, in this program is so proud of you. DS4A is something that, uh, that was an idea, was a dream. And now not only is it a reality, but you are the proof that the investment was very well worth it. You're the proof that the efforts and the work that Rashid and Sham are doing is worth it. You're proof that our industries and our businesses need more of you, so we're going to keep doing it. You're proof that you can invest in people who have desire and grit and hunger, and you can give them skills and capabilities to be ready to take on their next challenge. And that is exactly what we had set out to do. It's exactly what we believed in. It's exactly what we wanted to accomplish. And all you've done is given us the motivation to do more. 
all you've done is given us the motivation to do it better, to invest in the next cohort, to keep this momentum going and to train 10,000, if not more, executives, future leaders, industry makers, world changers, healthcare providers, we are helping to change the world from the seats that we sit in. And you are the proof that that investment is worth it. I couldn't be more proud to be part of this program because every time I get involved, I get a new jolt of energy that my work is not done. I get more inspiration that I'm ready to run even harder, even faster, even more, invest even more. And so now I'm already thinking about who else do I need to get involved in DS4A to make it happen. So other than that, let me just turn my attention to each one of you and I want you to take away a small piece, whatever that small piece is, I hope that you walk away with something from what I tell you. It's never too late to start. It's never too late to start. No matter the path you're on, you can always pivot. No matter the path that you are on, you can always pivot. There's a community out there that is ready to embrace you. You may not even know them. You may not have ever seen them. But as you can see, we show up when you need us. There's a community out there ready to support you. And I would tell you that there is no challenge too big. There is no challenge too big. You have to believe in yourself. You have to have conviction in what you want to do. You have to be willing to put in the work. And you have to be flexible enough to be prepared to change when situations change. I use the term bend with the river. And I use that term because it really does, it's emblematic of what I think life's challenges bring to each of you as you consider your lives and your careers and how you move. The river winds and turns and bends and there's times that you can't see around the corner. There's times that you hit rocky seas and rapids and it's bumpy and it, you might even bang into a few rocks and you might even feel like you're gonna slip out of the boat. And then suddenly there's a turn, you get around the corner and the seas are calm and the sun is shining and you feel like you've made it into calm waters. Some people are afraid to get on the boat in the first place. Some people stress about the ride the entire way. Some people jump out of the boat at the first sign of rocky seas. What you just did was bent with the river throughout the whole ride, enjoyed the ride the entire way, dealt with all that the ride had to offer and have just landed in calm seas. And now it's time for you to put on your jacket, jump in another boat and take the ride again. I'm so, so, so proud of all of you. I'm so appreciative of all of you for your efforts. I commend all of you for everything that you've done. And I challenge each and every one of you to now go get in the boat again and continue to take these rides, continue to take these journeys, bring friends with you into the boat, Pull someone else who's afraid to take the ride. Tell them how exhilarating the ride will be. Show them that when you take that turn around that bend that you're not sure what's gonna be there and that's what's exciting about the ride. And tell them that you've seen the sunshine when you get there on the other side and how good it feels and how much of an accomplishment it is and how you can't wait to get back in the boat again. That's what I hope for all of you. That's what I wish for me in my career every day, which is why I continue to grind and run every single day because I love the ride. Sham and Rashid are special men. They are doing special work. 
all of the mentors and advisors and coaches and companies and team members and judges. We're all here as your support and advocates and your partners and your cheering squad. We get to sit back with pride to see you get on that other side. We get to watch you be successful. And when you are, we get to stand and applaud. I wish you all the best. I wish you all my humblest congratulations. And I can't wait to get back in the boat with you again. I hope everybody enjoyed this time. I hope everybody enjoyed this program. And I can't wait to come back and see you guys again. Thank you guys so very much. Thank you for everything that you've done. And I look forward to the next ride.